Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be doing a how-to video. Uh, we're going to be working on an HO scale Norfolk Southern 3 bay hopper. I got this in yesterday and we're going to fade it down, weather it, and put some graffiti on it. Um, I've already uh, faded it down a little bit. Um, I used a, a custom mix that I've done. It's just uh, I got sooty, dirty color. I got a couple here that I've mixed up. Um, so one like a earth tone, like dirt, and it's blackish brown color. What I use on it is these um, little paint things from Walmart, or you can get them at a craft store. And I will take and mix some water with it and dull it down. Um, each color, if I uh, fade it, the the original color, I'll use um, a little bit of white in uh, whatever color the, the car is. But um, I did this one here, uh, a brown and black color, and uh, it came out pretty good. Um, I taped off using some this masking tape here, and taped off the uh, numbers on the side. As you can see, it's a little bit brighter. Um, and I've actually started some graffiti on this side. What I use for it is I'll draw it out with a pencil first. I'll get me a design. See, I've already um, did this here. Uh, found some graffiti online um, on a picture. And I like this one. I kind of copied it from it. And changed it around a little bit to how I liked it. And I'm going to start on the car here. I've already drew it out and started um, the blue. You can see here. So when I get this finished, um, I'll show you uh, the next step. But what I use for the uh, graffiti is permanent markers. These are some new ones I got from Walmart. Um, they're kind of metallic. They got like looks like metal flake in them. They're pretty awesome. And then I got some just regular colors here. And I also use these paint pens. Um, you can get them from Walmart. They're really expensive though. But they work really, really good. So I got a few of those. But um, as soon as I get this graffiti here finished, um, I'll show you the next step. Right, see you guys. All right, guys, I got my rubber gloves on here, and I got the, the paint on a piece of cardboard. And it's always good to use uh, rubber gloves um, because I've had a, a few problems with um, the oil on my hands or my fingers getting onto the car uh, when I clear coated it and you could see it but what we will do what we will do now is mix these together and get a uh, rust like consistency with the paint and we'll paint it directly onto the um, the wheels and the uh, trucks and um, all right guys um, I'm going to apply the paint that I got mixed up it's like a uh, rust consistency I don't know if you can see it uh, but yeah, um, I just take and you know, paint directly onto the trucks here. Like so. And then we'll dry each one of these with a higher dryer just to speed up the process. Okay guys, after you get the uh, dark rust applied, um, you'll get you a different brush and apply the light rust, uh, the newer rust is what it's supposed to simulate. Um, just put it in various spots. And usually I'll apply this two or three times to get you know a good look. Um, then I'll spray it with uh, my clear coat. Um, I use a few different clear coats. Um, see, I got this one here. This is Valspar. I got it from Lowe's. Uh, it's clear, flat, and it, it works really good. And I also have matte finish. Um, you can get it at like Lowe's or Walmart. And I also forgot something else. Um, on the uh, couplers on the cars, I always take and apply the uh, paint like I did on the trucks and wheels, and then rust it also because it that gives it a really nice look. But 
let's see if we can get a light on here so you can see what these look like. If you can really tell. You can see the rest on there if this camera focus, but um, it, it does look really good. Uh, right, I'll do a wheel for you so you can see how it looks. So what are your names? Well, my name this is what the wheel looks like. Andy, it looks Andy, really good. What's going on up at uh, 67th and 5th? Well, we're going to go up there because we have a double date tonight. Well, that sounds exciting. Yeah. Alright guys, something else I forgot. Um, we're going to be adding safety stripes to this car. And um, it's going to look like this here. You can see them. See the safety stripes right there and going down the car. They're yellow. Um, you see them on most of the cars now. Um, I'll show you how we're going to do it. Okay. What I use is, you can buy you can buy this on eBay. It's um, some actually reflective yellow tape. And it looks really good. But um, I don't have none of that at the moment. I do have this electrical tape that is yellow. And that's what we're going to be using. So just simply what I'll do is... Feel some hall. All right, guys. I'm putting the last of the straps on. Yeah, let's grab this other one's a little bit bigger. <laughs> and that's what it looks like. All right, I got the graffiti down on the other side of the car, as you can see here. And I've also added safety stripes to this side of the car and got the uh, trucks back on. I also went ahead and um, put another coat of my um, black and brown mixture to fade the car. I put it over top of the uh, graffiti that I did to make it look like it was a little bit older so it didn't look at new. Um, and now all we like is adding some rust uh, with the weathering powders. Um, and that'll be pretty much it. We'll be done and be ready to go on eBay. I'll start off with this uh, dark colored rust and we'll just simply put it on the car like so. So when I finish this up, I'll let you check out the car. Alright, I got the uh, weathering powders finished up and it's pretty rusty as you can see. Um, it came out really good. I like it. Show you the other side here. All I like is putting the lights coupler on. I got the one on this side on. I just got to do the other side and it will be complete. And just take some pictures and it'll be on eBay. Uh, just look in the uh, description for the item number and it will be going on eBay this afternoon um, sometime. So uh, it will come with the original box. Uh, it was brand new. Um, I just. I really wish I had an HO layout because I think I'd be keeping this when I like it. But uh, thanks for watching and go on and check it out and bid on it. Well, see you guys later.